There are men and women among us, driven by passion and commitment, to find happiness and meaning. They inspire us to better our lives and aspire others to help others. They are visionaries. They espouse events, ideas, technological innovations that make significant shifts in our thinking. To make a better future for us, they pursue game-changing inventions which make us change the way we think, we live, we carry our lives, the way we see things. We ask ordinary people to tell our stories about their ideas, what they believe are game changers. Journey with us by telling stories of these visionaries and their game changers. A great idea can get you ahead of the game, but a visionary concept can be a game changer. Hello, I'm Albi Benitez and this is Game Changer. In this episode of Game Changer, the attack of the drones, why the sky's the limit for these unmanned aerial vehicles. Before, dramatic shots like these can only be made from planes or helicopters. But drones change the game. They're practically flying robots, more easily controlled than real aircraft, but much, much less expensive. And they're giving film producers, aerial mappers, even wedding planners, well, a fresh new perspective. Before, shots like these can only be made by using choppers or planes. Simply hitch the camera and let the pilot do his thing. Of course, one must be ready to pay up to 4 million pesos for an hour of flying time. Mark Eugenio is a forerunner in aerial imagery. We found Mark at an open field at the University of the Philippines. Ibang point of view yung nasa taas kay, di ba? Ang ganda ng magagawa niyang shots. Managmumukang mahal yung ano show mo, di ba? Mark has tried them all, from RC cars to RC planes to RC choppers. Today, he's trying out one of the latest drones in the local market. Mark says with drones, there is definitely a change in the air. Maraming nagpapa-aerials ngayon compared dati. Lalo na naging affordable yung mga drones ngayon. We actually changed the rules of the game when before it was very expensive for them to capture aerial imagery. The best contribution of drone technology sa atin is it really made aerial photography, aerial videography, and aerial mapping work affordable to a lot of companies, to a lot of people. Paano kayo napasok sa ganitong ano? Kasi photographer ako eh. So, ah, okay. nagkaroon ako ng idea na yung yung drone gagamitin ko sa photography. Mm -hmm. Hindi lang siya hobby. So, yung nagsishoot kasi ako dati ng photography, naghahanap ako ng area na kung saan magandang mag-angle. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, dahil dyan, kahit saan, makukuha na ako na ng magandang angulo yung subject ko. Matagal ba bago matutunan itong ano? Ah, yung technology ngayon, mas madali na lang eh. Hindi mm -hmm. nakagaya nung dati. Talagang full manual yung pag paggalaw mo. Ngayon, may mga autopilot na eh. So, kahit sinong uh, amateur or beginner at hindi may hirapan magpalipad ng ganito? Hindi mm, naman, pero kailangan talaga mag-train pa rin.
But the drone technology more than just change the landscape of many businesses. When calamities strike, the drone become increasingly invaluable in assessing the scope of the disaster, in helping in the rescue, and easing the suffering. When Yolanda struck in later, drone flyers were first to show the world these dramatic images. We went there to, to provide aerial services to the uh, organizations that need an aerial photo and video for free. Yeah? In just half day, we covered one whole municipality. Half day. Lang. Unlike if they are on foot, Baka ilang araw nila yung lalakadin para lang ma-determine kung gaano kalayo yung nadamage. For professionals like Jojo and Mark, the drones are opening up new fields for them, changing the game further. The potential of drones can be best exemplified in the recent papal visit. We've been hired by uh, our government uh, to do aerial surveillance work for the papal visit. So what we did is we shot the PayPal uh, routes and alternate routes so they can use it as basis for security planning. But for government and the private sector to fully exploit the use of drones, first things first. Things still need to be ironed out. For now, both the operator owner and the drone have to be registered. Penalties for non-compliance range from 300,000 to 500,000 pesos or jail time. Kaap is also working with drone operators in the country to come up with standard laws and procedures. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines is uh, open for the uh, growth of uh, the industry, but it has got to be safe. But the technology is already here. Drones are changing the game fast in so many fields in the country. It's really a game changer because there are a lot of in terms of cost. So anyone can now do aerial photography work with just a simple small drone. Drone technology is changing fast. Configurations are steadily evolving, creating more sophisticated user-friendly drones. And as fast as the evolution of the gadget itself is the rate at which it impacts more and more fields, from business and leisure to rescue and disaster mitigation, saving lives, changing the game. So who or what is a game changer? Game changers are things, ideas, or they are people who put forth pioneering concepts that change the way things are made, the way we do things, or even the way we think. We'll discover the most enterprising people, seek and encourage potential trailblazers, and take a peek into the minds of Game Changers. Game -changers.